let's talk about my three favorite fountain pens and three amazing inks and maybe some honorable mentions. Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. First and foremost, I want to greet you. Happy Fountain Pen Day! As you may know, November 3rd or the first Friday of November is considered Fountain Pen Day. And so in light of this awesome celebration, I am going to be sharing my top three fountain pens and inks and some honorable mentions in collaboration with my bestie, Abby C. You may know Abby as the author of many, many books, but she is also an artist and creator on this platform on YouTube and on Instagram and also on Patreon. And we were very extra this year because we collaborated last year during the same time, but we have teamed up to create a printable for our patrons. So be sure to check out my Patreon and Abby's Patreon for this exclusive collaborative um, printable. There's two versions. And so there's one version on my page and one on her page. So it's kind of like Pokemon. You got to collect them all. Um, so be sure to check the links down below and we'll get started. Just want to say thank you to Christine of Everyday Explorers Co. for gifting this lovely ink related stamp set that she just released on Everyday Explorers Co. Be sure to check it out. Both Abby and I have been playing around with it and we are so excited to be using it in today's video and using this for our future ink ventures. Um, let's take it away, future Job. Okay, let's talk about inks. This was so hard because I actually acquired quite a bit of new inks while I was at the San Francisco pen show and it felt kind of odd to put new inks in here right away because you know the spirit of this video is favorites but you can have instant favorites right away right um, so I'm going to share some new favorites and some old ones and hopefully uh, this will be helpful in your ink search but I tried my best not to be classic Job and choose an olive green and like a dark orange but you know history repeats itself so um the first one that i want to mention um number one this is not in particular order is um kobe taisanji yellow number 21 so this is from kobe nagasawa this is a lovely mustard yellow um ink it is such a good writer the ink flow is impeccable i would say that you know this isn't an incredibly shading ink it's like a little bit shading but it's still nice to see that one of my favorite properties in fountain pen inks is present in this ink i just love writing with this because i love a good mustard yellow um ink i feel like a lot of people stray away from yellow inks because it is yellow <laughs> like you know there's like a stereotype of like you know it might just look like you're writing with a highlighter um but this is super um like r i was gonna say regible <laughs> readable and legible that's what it is that's a combination for you to remember <laughs> regible <laughs> um but yeah this is super readable and i love that um you can still use a yellow in your day-to-day -day writing obviously um i work in a creative field and so no one is checking me for professionalism in terms of the colors of the inks that i use and so this is a daily writer for me but you know this might not be for everyone because you know you might work in a corporate setting and you might need to stick to some more neutral colors but i think if you're looking for a fun like extra color i would really recommend kobe nagasawa number 21 taisanji yellow again if you want a dupe or a cheaper alternative i always mention this um one of my favorite fountain pen inks is diamine golden honey and this is kind of similar but not as ambery orangey so this is a nice true representation of a mustard yellow the next one is um, Coffee Break from Colorverse. So this ink is a lovely brown ink. I would say that it has a little bit of orange in it, like a teeny, teeny, tiny amount of it. I would say it's a warm toned yellow. Oh, <laughs> yellow. Warm toned. Warm toned. <laughs> it's a warm toned, everyone. It's a warm toned brown. I would say that it's not a faithful representation. If you want something that looks like you're writing with coffee, this is not it because um, there is a little bit of warmness to it. And so when you are writing with it, you can see that it's a warm toned brown, obviously. I mean, it depends on how you're brewing your coffee, but not all coffee looks this nicely uh, warm toned brown. Um, I wish my coffee looked like this. <laughs> um, but I've been really liking this and I just like the whole 
um, Colorverse lineup, I've tried quite a bit of their inks because it, I purchased a sampler from them a while back from Goulet Pens, and I really like the flow of their inks, and I haven't had any trouble with any of their inks in my fountain pens, even the ones with shimmer, so I would really check out Colorverse. There's also um, another one called Brunch Date, which is almost like a coppery, salmony, tan brown. Um, it has like a little bit of pink to it. I like it, but I am currently not using any pink inks, but I would um, check that out if you're looking for it. But obviously there's other pink ink recommendations. We'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> My last ink that I wanted to mention is from a Filipino brand, uh, represent. <laughs> this is from Troublemaker Inks and this is Petrichor. And I always forget what Petrichor means, but it is the smell. Is it the smell of the ground after the rain? Or is it the smell of grass after the rain? I just know it's like after the rain vibes. And so um, this ink is a little bit uncharacteristic for me because I'm not the biggest like blue, green, teal fan. If anything, it's a little controversial to say, but I actually don't really like teal. <laughs> It's like, I think it is my least favorite color. It used to be purple, but I love lavender. This is a tangent, but I don't know when there's, when like this kind of blue green ink is presented to me, it's just so nice because it's usually a very shading ink. I didn't mention earlier, but the brown Colorverse ink is not super shady, but it's a trusty brown. Um, whereas Petrichor has this kind of blue green to purple shading property um, it's mostly like bluish green um, but it reads a little bit green on some papers um, and then it has a little bit of um, purple in it too the most densely shaded parts so the parts that have the most like ink on the page look more purple to me um, obviously um, I need to preface this that I'm using uh, plotter DP paper, which is uh, a little like honorable mention because I think it's my favorite fountain pen um, paper after Tomoe River paper. I know a lot of people love Tomoe River paper, um, but sometimes the dry times drive me crazy. Um, and I always smudge everything on Tomoe River paper. Um, and so I used to, I usually favor MD uh, paper or this um, plotter DP paper, which is a proprietary paper stock by plotter but yeah i think the flow is not as you know flowy the flow is not flowing <laughs> but it's still pretty good um and yeah that's the top three i i really like like blue green light blue green inks um and then my honorable mention oh my gosh guys i went on like a like a herculean like hero's journey <laughs> to get to finding this thing actually no i that's just um an exaggeration but i was so bummed that this like was not on my radar at the sf pen show so basically this is a little story time um i was using this um i know i got a sample from abby um and we um swapped like samples so she tried some of the taisanji kobe um number 21 for me and then i sampled her kobe arima amber number eight and holy crap I um, only had like three fountain pens with me when I was at the SF Pen Show and um, I think I ended up using all of the Arima Amber in my fountain pen by like the second or no, maybe like the first or second week back that I got back from the pen show because I was just reaching for that pen the most and I ran it, I, I wrote the pen dry um, and then I had, you know, no Arima Amber so um, I couldn't find it anywhere, honestly, in my first few looks online, I couldn't find it anywhere, like, locally in America, and so I took to Instagram, and some lovely heroes found it at, um, Anderson Pens, so I purchased this from Anderson Pens, and I really recommend it. I just don't want to, um, mention this ink because I feel like I've mentioned it so much, even though I didn't have a proper bottle, but now that I do, I can, um, confidently say it's a really lovely ink this is a amber uh, color so it's like an or dark orange sienna color burnt sienna color but i would say like sometimes in certain lights it almost looks like a brick brickish red maybe not that much but it shades wonderfully 
um, from like an amber color to like a bricky red orangey brown type of situation but I would say that it is still a faithful amber color. I think when I think of amber I think of more of a yellow actually but amber comes in you know different colors. This kind of reminds me of like when you're making candy uh, <laughs> like the hard crack stage. No actually that's more yellow. I don't know it just feels like a candy like this color when you're writing with it. Um, but it's a nice alternative because I don't actually have anything close-ish to red um, in my uh, in my like ink samples and ink bottles. So this was a nice like almost red but still an orange that I um, really like. And um, it is currently inked in one of my pens that I'm going to talk about next in my top three pens. Um, but it is a match made in heaven. But those are my top four inks. Love them so much. Um, and I hope you check them out. Let's talk about my top three fountain pens. So I'm just gonna get this off my chest. The Pilot Custom 823 and the Sailor Manio Nuts, I love them so much. I think they're in like holy grail status now, so I am forbidden um, about talking about those because this, the video would be the same <laughs> every year. Um, so I'm gonna talk about kind of my more current favorite um, three pens. So I, this is in, a particular order my number one pen here out of the three is my sailor pro gear slim um x line friends brown pen so if you um you know are into instant messaging you've probably heard of line it's this very cute instant messaging um platform i that I think came from Japan or Korea. I always thought it was from Korea, but it was sold to Japan, but I, I'm not quite sure about like the ownership rights, um, but it's super cute. I was obsessed with brown when I was living in Korea. And honestly, if anyone can help me find it, there's this brown Lamy um, Safari that was a Line Friends collaboration. If you know where that is, reach out to me because <laughs> I'm trying to look for it. I know it's on eBay, but if there's any local places, let me know. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, I love this pen. It is a um, medium nib and I bought this from Wonder Pens um, back in Canada and I love this so much. I don't know what is up with this Sailor medium nib in this exact pen, but it writes like butter. It's so soft, like the gold is golden in this, <laughs> as the youth say. Uh, this is like 14, 14K and you know, the Pro Gear line the larger line um compared to the pro, pro gear slim has a 21k nib but this one has a 14k nib but in my head it writes like a 21k because it is soft and buttery and so good and this is paired with my arima amber number eight and holy crap like every time i write with it i was like wow this is so nice it's i think my favorite fountain pen an ink combo like I don't think I'll ever ink this with another ink now like we're, we're just stuck with that ink now it just looks so good it's not the perfect color match of the uh, pen barrel the color of this fountain pen is actually like a light brown with al almost a touch of pink which actually brings me back to like brunch date from Colorverse I don't know um, but yeah, it's a little bit pinky, like, which is a little bit interesting because brown, the actual line character is a darker brown, but, um, I love this pen. I love this, um, nib. I don't know. There's just something magical about this combination that I like. And I have kind of not stopped carrying it ever since I inked it with Arima Amber. So if you have this pen, try it with Arima Amber. Um, yeah, run to Anderson pens <laughs> if they still have it. Um, and then the next pen that is um, next up is actually my, again, very uncharacteristically Job, but the Twisby VAC 700 in the Iris colorway, which is this lovely kind of unicorn, oil slick, um, iridescent um, finish to it. So it is a demonstrator like most Twisbys, and it is a vac um, vacuum filled pen. Um, this is my first um, vacuum um, uh, filling mechanism for a fountain pen, which is super cool. 
This is a lot heavier than the other Twisbees. I have a Diamond 580 from Twisby um, Aluminum, and this is still heavier, and it feels so good. This was probably when I was, you know, um, at the start of my fountain pen journey, this was probably my most expensive pen, and I have this in a medium nib, and it still writes so smooth. Like, out of all my Twisbees, similar to this phenomenon that I had with my brown Sailor, um, collaborative pen this pen just feels smoother I don't know if it's like it's just in my head but it's so it feels so smooth to me um, and I um, for some context really enjoyed like the all black tumbler aesthetic um, <laughs> in university and I was like really into that all black look and I don't know I was obsessed with oil slicks like I don't know if you were around when tumbler was popping off um, but there was always like a photo of oil slicks that I would reblog. I don't know. It's just so like booty and aesthetic. It's like when when people like reblog the um, like the Joy Division <laughs> album cover. Like, ooh, he's so indie. But I don't know. I think that part of my brain associates that memory and that um, era of my life to this founded pattern and this aesthetic, and I really like it. Like, it's not very. Uh, typically Job, but um, it is a part of Job that, um, you know, may not be around anymore, but um, he did exist at some point, and so I really like this pen, and I have um, the aforementioned ink earlier, the um, Petrichor by Troublemaker in it, and it writes well because um, I would say that this medium writes pretty, like, juicy, like the, this pen, like, I don't know, the, the medium is very medium and so with this dryer ink it writes um a little bit finer but it's great it's not um too fine for my liking and it's perfect for the way i write which is um messy but large <laughs> and small at sometimes too um that was the third uh second pen and then the third pen obviously in in order from my favorite to it sounds bad least favorite but this is the third pen um in this um, list and it is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini in the Christmas pudding um, colorway, which was part of their T series from 2023. And I love this pen. It is not as smooth as the Sailor Brown Line Collaborative pen, but this is still a nice 14K nib pen. Um, again, it has a gold nib. The um, Twisby I forgot to mention has a steel nib. And um, this Christmas pudding pen just has all the things that I love about um, like fountain pens and like sailors. Um, it's a fun colorway. The cap is uh, translucent, so it's green and there's like beautiful sparkles in it. The uh, body is this dark brown. I did wish that the brown was a little bit more, a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer because this is a very like cool toned brown. But I understand why they made that decision because the br the green that they use is a bit more of a cool tone green, um, and it has some gold finishes. And then the top has a like red accent on the sailor anchor, and I think it just makes this pen very Christmassy. Hence the name Christmas pudding. Um, and yeah, I think it's a very like I don't know, almost like corporate looking pen if you are not looking at it too closely. I mean, there's glitter and whatnot, but like it looks very like professional if you look at it it's like dark brown and dark green it's very serious uh, <laughs> but i've been enjoying this ink i have um a uh troublemaker ink in here as well i, I believe i have kelp tea in here um and it's been writing great this is a lovely pen and i am so glad that i have this um i have something from the t series from Sailor because I really enjoyed the Fika pens that they released. There was a red and blue one that came out. And then we have this one, the Christmas pudding, and there was a Christmas tea. And then this year we have the Moroccan tea series, which is also stunning. And I am looking away respectfully because, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. <laughs> and then an honorable mention, I just took a picture of this. I don't even have a video of this because I don't even own this pen. But I'm wanting to put this in this video as a way to manifest that I'll own it. Um, but I really want to get the Sailor Home pen by Yoseka, their co third collaborative pen in their um, Yoseka Origin series of fountain pens. Um, 
it's so beautiful this is from my coworker christina she let me take a picture of it at work <laughs> and it's so pretty um but i am just putting this out here i don't even know if it writes well i'm sure it writes perfectly like other sailors um but yeah i want it um and so yeah let's manifest <laughs> that it happens <laughs> and comes to me it's kind of a, a cop out but i already told you that you know i already love sailor manio nuts and my palette custom 83 love those pens so much and i will refrain from including them in every fountain pen video because you guys are probably sick of me talking about it um but yeah those are my top three favorite um inks and pens i will let outro job sign off this video would not be possible without our awesome friend christine of everyday explorers co she so kindly gifted abby and i her newest ink related uh stamp set um which is available now um by the time that you're watching this it'll be available on her website so we'll leave it down below uh thank you christine for sending this over and also sending me some awesome fountain pen inks that i want to share more um in another video in the future because oh my gosh guys have you ever heard of on inks um i got a sample and we got to talk about it um but yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out my lovely friend my bestie abby's video for more um ink and fountain pen recommendations i think you'll see some funny similarities because we are almost twinning in terms of our taste and our um, ink and fountain pen uh, favorites so be sure to check that out and again join us on patreon to celebrate fountain pen day with our new collaborative printables there are two versions there is a more green one on my um patreon and there's one that is a little bit more brown and orangey on abby's so be sure to subscribe to both our patreons and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, I, I'm recording you for this video. What's your favorite what? fountain pen ink? Huh? Just, do you know about fountain pen inks? No. Did you know today's National Fountain Pen Day? Nope, no idea. Oh my gosh, uncultured <laughs> swine. Can you say, Happy National Fountain Pen Day to everyone? Oh, happy National Fountain Pen Day, everyone. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>